Good morning, people. Let's talk about Terre de Hermes Outre Refresh. Okay, it will be initial impression, and I have quite a few fragrances to go uh, to review, so I'm doing it more frequently. So I do apologize if you're getting bugged by the notification ping, <laughs> but you know I'll try to give you uh, so far what I discovered from this fragrance. Uh, more or less performance season who is it for presentation price um what are they compared to uh, occasion best occasion to wear it or is it a uh, perfection 10 out of 10 we'll see so this fragrance actually uh was chosen by mark rob 08 aka fragrance guru as the uh, perfect 10 out of 10 and top number one summer slash spring fragrance i guess so We'll see, we'll see uh, how I feel about that because usually his and my taste always kind of similar. So we start with uh, the presentation and then we'll slowly move into the other aspect. So the my bottle here I have, you've seen that it's a big bottle, 200 ml, so the box also should be giant. It comes in this kind of packaging first. You know, it's almost like back in the day, you know, those who live to see the videotapes, video cassette, you know, like the movies, they come in this kind of, this exact shape. Like the tape would be in this so yeah it's kind of big yeah my head is big this is big so yes legit big <laughs> as you can see uh, one side it's a clear blue skies it's raining there's the outer fresh bottle uh, this white cap uh, it's representing like a arty you know there's like a little bit art soil around okay so it's capturing all the essence in one picture I'll tell you how, how why is it uh, relevant and it's similar to my original EDT box this edt only difference you're gonna see here is it's written oat refresh this one is written just there there mess edt so these are both edt concentration this is not edc so these are 200 ml as you can see very beautiful that horseman whatever i don't know what you call it that this signature hermes uh, feel and uh, another box they come with where the box at bottle it stays yeah that's more comparable to their there mess so when i see them uh, by right this edt box look a little bit darker than the outer refresh okay and this 100 and this is 200 more or less the all, rest of the things are all same <clears throat> these are made in france by the way i believe uh great yes made in france okay the bottle here it's very identical to tear the hermes but few differences here is your bottle a uh, huge bucket size bottle life size bottle this i would call uh <laughs> I don't know what I call this. This is huge size bottle, okay? So yes, very heavy, uh, very difficult to hold, but I will try to hold for you. It says Ter Dermes, uh, and then uh, it doesn't say on the bottle, Outre Fresh. I think the fresh is represented by the blanche, rather white cap. So this one uh, also has some detailing up there. It, it says uh, inside, Hermes Perry, okay? And uh, bottom is your signature H with orange. So this one will actually be able to, you can see from, if you do it like this, you can see the orange from the bottom. So basically it's a trademark of Hermes. And at the back, very see-through, very nice, elegant, heavy bottle, heavy, heavy bottle. And up here, uh, this I, I believe is plastic. So when you roll it down, it reveals the atomizer. And let me spray a little bit and I'll give you my initial thoughts on the uh, this fragrance, okay? Sprayer on this 200 ml is really great, it's huge. Okay, let's go on spray. Okay, um, and you roll it up, it goes like that. So, compared to the EDT bottle, just give you a little bit. I'm gonna compare them anyway afterwards, but just giving you the presentation comparison. So, how, how small it looks, the EDT. So, EDT, the cap, difference is the cap, it's black, and this is white. And other things, they're all same at the bottom, H, H, and the juice color in EDT, it's a bit darker than this. This is a bit more watery. So, that's basically more or less the difference. and yeah, um, there's also another perfume version of this fragrance which I am yet to own. I didn't get it because uh, it's very similar to this. This is not, this is a little bit different. And you're gonna find the batch code and sticker, I mean sorry, batch code at this part of the EDT bottle. And the ED, uh, Oath Refresh, you can find it yeah, here, okay? So yes, that's more or less pretty much the presentation. Really like the bottle presentation, very beautiful. and. Uh, this fragrance also, uh, the price-wise, uh, uh, sorry, bottle sizes, they come in different bottle sizes. I think it comes in 125 mil and 200 mil. And if I'm not mistaken, there's 75 mil somewhere there, but I haven't seen. Maybe I could be wrong. 
so let's uh, dissect this fragrance okay this uh, let me tell you is gonna be a favorable review very favorable because this is uh, recent times the summer as long as the, as soon as the summer hit me I knew I had to have this I have a lot of aquatics and I have different kind of aquatics uh, fresh citrusy uh, summer fragrances this is one I was eyeballing for a very long time <laughs> not eyeballing eyeing for a long time um, this fragrance uh, if you spray the first time okay this one when you spray it, uh, the notes break down on this are citrus orange um, watery notes this uh, the heart there's geranium flor florals and at the base I think there is a um, what's there some woody some patchouli some uh, good backbone of the original teradermis when I spray this at the first time many people uh, I don't know if someone mentioned it or not but to my nose it played kind of trick on me I kind of detected this accord at the first this is Ilachi. This is, uh, I'm showing you, this is called Pan Masala in Bangladesh. It's India also. It's actually called Herbal Mouth Freshener. People take this after food just to give it a f refreshing feeling in the mouth. So what you're going to get is a lot of cardamom in this. Okay, this is Ilachi means cardamom. And uh, it's, you can see this picture. There's a lot of cardamom in this and mixed with a lot of other uh, spicy, you know, like elements. So this, you know, uh, Fennel, cardamom, uh, betel nut, uh, dry dates, menthol, sweetener, flavors, yeah. So this is kind of a mouth freshener you get. So when you open it, it will hit you with the cardamom. That's what I start getting from this. You know, maybe the spicy aspect of it, it smells like cardamom. So that's a beautiful touch to it with the citruses and the orange. First thing you're going to get is the cardamom mixes with that beautiful citrus, a very sharp citrus. And uh, it's so refreshing. It's like green. It's a... Uh, citrusy it's a watery citrus imagine some lemons and limes take a lot of oranges and you dip them on a not deep they're gonna float but put them in a bucket full of water and you're getting the aroma of that mixed citrus in the water and then some cardamom also the bottom are also like floating that's the introduction of their thermos ultra fresh most refreshing most beautiful opening ever perfect tent for that opening itself and uh, it just gets it just wows you you know so my sister she said even though this auto refresh watery version she said it's so strong because I go with four sprays I think you don't need so much if you really would like to go go four to five sprays it will last you all day on your clothes but here's the thing I heard one of my community members Shafi Bhai he said he's getting a little bit poor longevity from this so this is where it plays also tricks some people uh, they will get really good longevity out of it uh, depending on the skin chemistry some people may get kind of weak I tried this first time in uh, like when I bought the day I bought Aventus all right getting a little bit detail showing you telling the story history with this at the day I went to get this create Aventus it was Bonani Momita or Kumari it's near Bonani there's one shop the same shop had uh, Creed Aventus I bought that day and I tried that one and I also remember very Clearly, I was wearing Invictus Aqua that day and it really lasted me throughout the whole day, right? So these are the memories I remember very well on that day I tried Auto Refresh. So Auto Refresh that day I tried, I felt I was not very impressed. I thought it's uh, this is the masterpiece and I stood by it for a very long time. But I recently changed my mind, okay? Because this fragrance lasts on me a very long time. So longevity wise, performance wise so far, EDT, it's a far stronger you know this one lasts all day on me ultra fresh it's uh if this one is gonna get 10 ultra fresh is gonna get eight longevity wise so you get the idea and uh more or less tear dermis is that well known for all year round it works good in winter summer ultra fresh i think it will be best suited for summer springs okay sorry huge bottle so this is uh up there for with any other summer fragrances and it suits all age any gender can wear it, uh, male or female, you're gonna get refreshing feel in the hot summer's day, especially when it gets hot in Bangladesh, like hot and humid. You don't wanna wear something overpowering, something choking, okay? It's just gonna create that beautiful citrus and after the typical, it will go to the tear dermis uh, territory. You're gonna get, uh, you'll be like, oh, where are your citruses? Citrus will be gone after one hour. Then you're gonna smell tear dermis, but watery version. This is gonna not gonna smell like as powdery as Terre Hermes or as thick. This is gonna be more easy, more relaxing, right? 
I think great, great for office. I think one of our brothers in community uses this as, use this as a gym fragrance, Aziz Bhai. And I, I can see that. You can wear this casually, you can dress it up. Uh, it's a very versatile scent, very, very versatile. Let me show you some other fragrances. If you found those interesting, uh, you're gonna really love this. The citruses remind me of Thiramugula Mugula Cologne. Very refreshing, that citrus. Very high class, uh, the soapy feel, uh, not so much, but just the citruses. Then I would say the citrus from Original Vetiva. Amazing. If you liked high class, I'm gonna show you all high class fragrances here. If you like Diorum Cologne, that beautiful citrus aroma, yes, this one. If you like the citruses from, you're gonna see the bottle similarity also. If you like Eau Sauvage Cologne, see the caps? Yes. So yeah, if you like that one, but not exactly, none of these are exactly the same. They have their differences, okay? Then you liked uh, Neroli Portofino by Tom Ford, and if you couldn't afford it, this one, very bright Neroli. The citruses in this, I know a lot of fans out there. As well as the last one, the fresh version of Low Blow DC, but this is not a similar scent. But the fresh feel, okay, from the Isimiyake line, this is also a fresh fragrance from the Low Blow DC. So yes, if you have been a fan of those citruses, this is different enough. This is right up there with the performance. This is a top performer for this kind of fragrance. Fresh version, it's supposed to be representing water. And it's watery. Hardly any fragrance, you know, like many of you, you know, right? Versace Puram doesn't last all day anymore. Three hours, good projection, bam, gone, right? Ultra fresh, not the case with me. I get projection wise, first one to two hours, excellent projection. Then it comes closer to the skin, but it remains very nicely on the skin for, I would say, uh, eight out of 10, as I told you. Maybe uh, I'll get easily five to six hours on my skin. On the shirt, it will last longer. Um, best to time to wear this in the daytime. Nighttime, uh, not so much. So this fragrance also reminds me of a little bit of Unjardin line and Hermes's uh, Orange Worth. There's this one, I think I forgot the name. So this signature uh, niche side of Hermes, the fresh kind of like a green mango sort of, a, it also evokes that feeling. It gives me that uh, fresh by the Nile, uh, the fresh watery because of that watery notes. It gives me that, you know, a little bit of everything. So you can imagine that spicy uh, green side of it. Unjard and Sur Lenil, if you like those and you liked all these designers that I showed you, Neroli Portofino on the summer's day, spring's day, amazing. Uh, this is, this is yes, this is good stuff. This is solid stuff, all right? Um, very, very, very clean as well. Um, compliments wise, you're gonna definitely gonna pick up compliments. Uh, this is a, not a dirty orange, but it's more like your watery orange much later on in the dry down. So, Longevity, eight. Projection, nine. Smell, 10. Okay, dry down and uh, opening, both are gorgeous. And it's uh, so, so, so upscale. It's a very upscale scent. Okay, James Bond sort of a scent. Suit, shirt inside, white shirt, but one unbuttoned. And uh, so masculine, he's a very masculine guy. Driving is a um, Jaguar maybe, or Aston Martin, sorry, not Jaguar, Aston Martin. And uh, compliments wise, top notch also for that. So this has, very complete feeling all right and i am really happy i got a big bottle of it one of the guys said you're gonna take forever to finish it i can see it <laughs> so overall is this a 10 out of 10 performance wise maybe not as good as steered hermes okay this is perfection 10 out of 10 and this i gave initially in my page as perfect 10 but i'm gonna give one mark less just for that performance that steered hermes still has that edge because of that performance this is 9 out of 10 in my opinion amazing fragrance Almost perfect, almost, right? So check it out, Terdemes Auto Refresh. If you're in Bangladesh, you let me know. If you wanna try it again, you'll see the magic of it, okay? I'm very happy with this juice, all right? It's actually 10 out of 10 in my head, but just for the performance being fair, I'm gonna give this nine out of 10. Initial impression. Do let me know uh, how you feel about this fragrance. Do you own it? Uh, how, how do you, which one is the favorite for Parfum, EDT, and this one? That's all I have for today. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.